want to talk a little bit about lengths of arrows, and this is this is actually kind of a boring subject for me, um, but it's something that is kind of important. It's that people don't really understand um, the length of the arrow and why it does make a difference with primitive archery. It doesn't necessarily always make a difference with with traditional archery um, or in any modern archery. You know, when you're using carbon shafts and you can fill them with weights and do all these kind of new things that they do. Um, with primitive archery, the length of your arrow really makes a difference, especially when we're talking about cane arrows. Um, and I, I have it from time to time, somebody will see a picture of me shooting or a picture of me at full draw showing a bow or something, and they'll say, well, you have, you know, eight inches or six inches or whatever of, of arrow sticking out the front of your bow when you're at full draw, and they'll say, you, you need to cut that back, um, you know, so you only have an inch or you'll get better arrow flight, which... Um, doesn't make any sense at all, honestly. It does, has the the amount of arrow that sticks out over the front of the bow has no bearing on arrow flight at all whatsoever. More than anything, it's it's this modern idea of looking at. It's more aesthetically pleasing to see an arrow that is perhaps matched to your draw length. You know, that doesn't stick out very far at all. But honestly, it has nothing to do with the flight of the arrow. Actually, more than anything. Uh, a longer arrow is more stable in flight than a shorter arrow. Uh, we see this with the, the jungle tribes and stuff that shoot like those six foot cane arrows that many of them don't even have fletchings on because they're so long they're they're just naturally stable from being that long. Um, so you know the longer arrows they they are definitely more stable uh, but the other reason that I like a longer arrow is to keep the weight up. You know like I said with the with the modern arrows, you know, they can stack extra weight inside the shaft or even like modern cedar arrows that they'll, they can put 125 grain, 150 grain points on the end. And, and if you followed any of my other videos about talking about stone points and stuff, that stone is not as dense as steel and, and you know, it's really important to shoot smaller points than you're used to with traditional archery. When it comes to primitive archery, you know, we're shooting stone points that are 80 to 90 grains and, and things and and more it's more important to have a small dimensionally sized point than a weight point um, if you don't understand all that go back and look for that video about shooting the stone points because that's good information but that all kind of makes sense now when you understand that it makes sense as to why you want a longer arrow and it's to get the weight up you know we're costing ourselves some weight in the front of the arrow by having to shoot a lighter point um, but we still need a heavy arrow. So, you know, obviously when you lengthen that arrow out, you know, it's getting heavier as well. And obviously we want a heavier arrow because it's going to penetrate better than a, than a short arrow would. Um, and then there's some other tricks to, to weighting the arrow, the primitive arrows up to uh, cane arrows in particular by filling the end node, um, the empty tube between the nodes. You, know, you can kind of fill that with, with some stuff to kind of bring the weight up a little bit. But um, that's for the real importance, anyway, of why we want a longer arrow. See, like, you know, my natural draw length is between 22 and 24 inches, just depending on what style bow I'm shooting at the time. I have a naturally short draw length. I like to shoot a short draw style. And, of course, my arrows are about 30 inches, give or take a, a little bit. Um, you know, and so that's why I have several inches sticking out over the front, you know. And if, but if I was to cut them so much shorter, it would require me to tune my arrows a little bit more, and I wouldn't be getting nearly the weights out of them that I think I should. In fact, I would probably struggle to get a good ethical hunting weight out of my arrows, you know. And primitive peoples, I think, understood that, that a longer arrow penetrated better, whether they understood, you know, the real scientific reasoning, you know, that heavier arrows are going to penetrate better uh, they may not have understood understood it like that but they would have just figured it out you know that you know hey I when I started shooting these longer arrows I started getting you know further penetration than these little short ones that weren't going in as far you know um, and another reason uh, with kind of the longer arrows or not necessarily the long arrows but just in, in general talking about the length of the arrows about why it's important um, to keep your arrows the same length. Um, now you can change the spine of the shaft by lengthening it, but kind of weakens the spine dynamic, and you can shorten an arrow to kind of stiffen the spine dynamic. 
and that works really good but the problem with doing that is is a lot of times that messes with your shooting and it depends on the style in which you shoot I mean if, if you're any kind of like the modern gap shooters or anything using a modern shooting style on a primitive style bow it's really going to mess you up because a shorter arrow the gap between that and your target is going to be altogether different um, so if you're, if you're shooting arrows that are inches different you know between arrows you're not going to get impacts consistent at all uh, but even like myself or I consider myself an instinctive shooter and I I look at the spot on the target and I do my very best to ignore the arrow. I like to pretend the arrow is not there. Um, it's like my body knows how to make the shot, but subconsciously I do know the arrow is there. And although I'm not looking at the point of the arrow and trying to, you know, align at a certain distance from my intended target, my mind or my eyes are seeing that and my mind is doing the math and calculating it all for me. So. Um, you know, if I'm used to shooting a 30 inch arrow and I'm putting it in the center and then all of a sudden I switch to say, you know, a 28 inch arrow, I'll automatically, my mind will compensate for that and it obviously, it just automatically brings the arrow up closer, uh, the tip point, you know, compared to the target that I'm shooting at and it'll actually make the arrow then shoot um, high and to the left for me because my mind's overcompensating for it. I guess it doesn't really understand that the arrow is shorter. It's just how, you know, with your depth perception, looking at the, the tip of the arrow compared to where it is on the target, which all that kind of stuff's hard to understand, and not everybody's going to shoot the same. Um, but if you're having some inconsistencies with some of your arrows not shooting in the same spot, or you're getting ones that are consistently shooting higher and they're shorter or reasons, it's not because they're shorter and they're lighter, it's because they're shorter and your mind's overcompensating for it. So try to make your arrows all the same length and that might solve some of your problems as far as that goes. But if you're worried about how much arrow sticks out in front of the bow, don't worry about that at all. Um, that has nothing to do with the arrow flight providing your arrows are tuned to shoot that way. Um, you know, you get better stabilization through flight and you're going to get better penetration, you know, by having that that heavier arrow. Now the exception would be if you're shooting natural hardwood arrows, you know, like we go out in the woods and we cut, you know, yearling or two years, two yearlings of uh, sparkle berry or, or privet or viburnum arrowwood shafts, um, making arrows out of actual hardwood shoots. Those are very, very heavy to begin with. So um, you don't necessarily have to have the length. You can actually shoot a pretty short arrow, you know, say 20, six inches and it still be 500 to 600 grain arrow. I mean, finished out, you know, because they're solid all the way through, obviously, you know, where cane is, for the most part, hollow. But um, that is the exception to the rule. But, you know, if you're shooting cane, don't, don't be afraid to stretch them arrows out and make them a little bit longer.